To edit a play inside First Down Playbook, you should first find the play you want to work on. If you haven't watched our video on how to find a First Down Playbook play, you can do so here. Once you've found the play you want to work on, you can click on the three dots at the bottom right of the play. Here, you are also able to add the play to a playbook, email the play to someone, print the play, or download a PNG file of the play image. We are going to click Edit. Once inside the play editor, you can change any aspect of the play, including the label, size, shape, color, fill shading, and outline of every player using the right side options. Simply click on that player and change whatever aspect you want. You can add or edit both straight or curved lines on any player. To do that, click on the player you are working on and click either straight line or curved line. Line customizations include thickness, style, color, endpoint, and any inserts. You can add multiple lines from any endpoint or player. Curved lines can be changed at the endpoint or the apex of the line. You can change direction or add alternate routes to any player by clicking on either the line or player and adding an additional line. All lines must be attached to players and cannot be added without selecting a player first. You can add shading to any player by clicking on that player and selecting the shade you want. To add a defensive player, click Add Player, then choose the E in Player Shape. Of course, you can then change the label of that player and put it wherever you want. Change the title of your play by clicking the pencil button at the top. On top of the drawing itself, additional text can be added to any play. Click on the text near the top right, then click Add Text Box button. Simply type what you want into the text box and you have the ability to customize the size, format, font color, background color, and border color and place it wherever you want on the play. If you want to group objects together, you can do so by highlighting multiple objects and selecting Group. From there, you can move or duplicate. You can also flip the entire play both vertically or horizontally. If you select a single object or group, you have the ability to flip just what you have selected. At the top right, you will also see options for symbols that can be added to any play. To add a symbol, simply click on the one you want and press Add Symbol. You can then move it anywhere you want. To the right of the symbols, you can add coaching notes. You can add text notes as well as tables to display on your coaching notes section. You're also able to add videos to your play. To see how to add videos, click on the link in the top right of this video. It's also listed in the video's description. Another helpful feature while creating a play is Lineman View. This allows you to zoom in at different levels so you can get a closer view of your play. Whatever zoom level you save your play at, that's how it will be viewed. To the left of that is the field background option. This allows you to change where your hash marks are or what your field position is. Your play will auto save every 60 seconds, but pressing save before you leave is always a good habit to get into.